I'm going to try something new today, use my iPod rather than using my camera. And my iPod is basically sitting on my tripod right now. Isn't that wonderful? So, I've mainly been working through school and stuff, so I've been reading this book, and it's starting to blow my mind. It's called Memory's Ghost, and basically it's talking about the nature of memory. And, wow. You know, if you actually think about it, memory has a lot to do with your actual days and what you do every day and how you feel like memory it, it stores your feelings and stores your actions like think about it your memory affects your actions that you do every day you do basically on memory like you tell yourself something that you're going to do something it gets stored in your memory so that you'll remember it the next day and you'll act upon it or you'll or you'll want to do something you'll try and you'll want to do something like figure out what you're going to do and you don't know what to do so then you call upon your memory and your memory basically gives you the tip on which, what action to do or whether to do it or not because you call upon your memory for everything basically um i think i i took down some quotes because i have to do this for psychology but um like the brain naturally submerges, forgets, and retells the stories of the past to accommodate our current view of ourselves. That's also true, like, if you think about it, you can change your, you can change your memory as well, like, your memory is forever changing as well, like, you forget stuff, or you can change your view on what happened in a past life, or um, you can get angry over something you've forgotten, or something that's changed, or like two different stories. Like when you get two different sides of a story, that's because your memory has changed to and altered to your view of how you believe the actual action happened. So if something bad happened and you're trying to prove that you're not responsible, your memory basically has altered it so that you can prove that you're not true so basically our memories are at fault in that they uh, accommodate for the view of ourselves so if we view that ourselves are innocent then that's how our memory is going to prove it rather than telling us the truth and um, also like our memories at the end are a site of endless construction where facades come down beams are shifted walls are sucked together or blown apart all in response to the curtain the current most urgent needs like in the story they're talking about a man who lost his memory after surgery after a lobotomy and he um, he can't do anything anymore he can't think straight and he can't have those same feelings that he's ever had like he can't have he sort of has a certain part of his memory left or he, um, just certain times, he just guesses, um, after, after a while, it starts to sort of save in his, in his memory, he'll know what to say, but he's not really calling upon his memory, rather, so, every day, he just wakes up and asks himself, what is he supposed to do today? He doesn't know what he's supposed to do, because he can't remember, he can't remember what he does every day, and he can't remember what he does, or what he's supposed to do, or that his parents are dead, or that, um, or the feeling of sorrow that he feels when someone tells him that his parents are dead. He doesn't remember. And then when he, he he's told that, he, like, he feels different about what year it is, and what, um, how old he is. Like, he's actually 50, and he thinks he's, like, 32 or 33. So he doesn't have the same feelings or same that memory does for you. So memory does a lot to you. Memory affects everything that you do. And that's a big thing that, I, that has affected my view point of my entire existence, basically. Because now that I, I realize now that memory has a, is what gets me up in the morning. Memory is what I call upon when I, when I have to make a decision. And memory is everything. Like, memory is something that tells me, um, 
what's happened in my past and how I've changed and how I will change my actions today or how I'm making a video today and told myself that I'm going to use my iPod rather than using my camera. It, it just affects everything. It, and then I thought, well, I, I thought about it and like I thought I'd rather use the camera or the iPod and then my memory called and said, you know, you said to yourself that you're going to use your iPod. So I'm using my iPod because I think it's going to be quicker and easier and I can upload faster and I can just sit in front of if, if the iPod will sit on a tripod, I can sit here and just talk to you about certain things that are blowing my mind. Nice chat, peoples. More videos coming soon, I hope. Hopefully. Yes. I'm actually going to call Chapin right now and ask him about... Um, if you haven't checked out my latest video, which was the reunion vlog, he uploaded that for the first time. He uploaded something. <laughs> Good for him. Um... And I'm going to call him so that I can see if he's going to upload anything else or if he's done any music because we're going to start doing uh, our custom music for our videos rather than um, using music that we can just get off the internet or something. We're going to start showing off our musical abilities and stuff. So I'm going to ask him if he's done any music or anything. All right. So, yeah, talk to you guys later probably, hopefully, using my new iPod. Bye.